This is Cougar Post Match Live. Post match coverage of BYU women's soccer is brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Now, let's get you back to Landon Southwick. The BYU Cougars are headed to the NCAA Final Four in Santa Clara, California as they punched their ticket this evening with a 4-1 victory. And honestly, it was a performance for the ages. Came out firing on all cylinders, scoring goals in the 3rd, 15th, 46th, and 61st. Braces from Coulihan and more. As South Carolina was able to pull one back before half in the 40th minutes, but not able to do enough as their season will end here in Provo as they made a nice run up, setting North Carolina earlier in the mat or earlier in the tournaments, but fall here in Provo, Utah, as the Cougars will advance. And for BYU, what a moment. An opportunity to play in the Final Four. The first Final Four have been to the NCAA Elite Eight four different times, including tonight's, but will now get a chance to play for that in that college cup and hopefully have an opportunity to play for a national championship as the road continues. We're going to get our Adobe player of the match here, Adobe Creativity for All, as we'll get an interview here in a second with McKaylee Moore, as we're going to get a headset on her and talk to her a little bit about this match, as she is our player of the game. McKaylee, congratulations on a College Cup-bound BYU. A brace opening the scoring tonight. How did it feel? It felt amazing. It felt like, I mean, it's my last game on South, and I couldn't have written a better story. Maybe a hat trick. but Maybe, you know, but I'm just I'll take the two. The two goals and a 4-1 victory from the Cougars. Was that game everything that it cracked up to be? A full house here at Southfield. What a way to go off. Our fans are so amazing. It's not the warmest day out and so there was already a line when I rolled up to the field at like three o'clock to get into the game and just create such a fun atmosphere and it was honestly a forgettable unforgettable night what did that do for your guys' mentality to see fans sitting outside the stadium waiting to come in even before you guys got here to change into your game gear it just got me super hyped like this town all of BYU they just support us so much and it honestly means the world to us like we're a women's sport but we get just as much fans as some of the men's sports and it's so awesome and we feel so blessed to be able to play in front of these home fans and happy we could perform for them tonight 4100 fans on hand tonight to see you guys clinch a spot in the final four looking ahead you have santa clara what do you guys expect from santa clara and you is the feeling around that this is ours why not us this is we call it our revenge tour we took down Virginia. We're ready for Santa Clara. Defending national champions on their home field. We couldn't write a better story for us. The Avenged Tour will continue well. McKaylee, we'll let you get back to your teammates and celebrate. But congratulations as McKaylee Moore, our player of the game. Adobe, creativity for all as she scored a brace tonight to lead the Cougars. We're going to take a quick break here on the New Skin BYU Network and be back with Coach Rockwood after this. Welcome back to Cougar Post Match Live on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Let's rejoin Landon Southwick. As we're back live here at Southfield, as you can hear the excitement around Thanks, from everybody just enjoying as we're here with Coach Rockwood in the Zions Bank Coach's Interview for banking that helps you tackle every financial challenge. Zions Bank is for you. And Coach, I think the first thing I have to say is congratulations. What a win. A 4-1 victory here at Southfield in front of 4,100 fans. And you guys advanced your first ever College Cup. Yeah, super exciting night. So so proud of the girls and the staff and um, just a fun night for us. I thought the girls uh, came out really on fire in the first half and in the second half. And you know, obviously against a very good team. We hadn't given up any goals in the NCAA tournament, so we challenged the girls to say, hey, they haven't given up any. We score goals, so let's oh, go after it. Yeah, and now you guys are sitting on 77 goals scored on the season. 77 goals and 17 conceded. The best offense in the nation. And now the task becomes looking at Santa Clara. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you guys have faced them. And Michaela Moore talked about it, the revenge tour. Yeah. 
What does this game look like? Obviously, on their home field mm -hmm. in Santa Clara. But it does mean something different at this point. You guys are both WCC co-conference champions. What do you guys expect from them, and what do you think you can do to them? Well, obviously, they're defending national champions. And I think, if anything, uh, when they won it last year, it gave our girls um, really the kind of the insight to say, hey, why not us? You know, if Santa Clara can do it, so can we. And, and I think that's been something that's been, um, you know, just taken really to heart uh, for our team. And so we're just really excited about it. You know, they've had a fantastic year, uh, again, with really this, a very similar group. Um, they've been a little banged up and, and have, have really kind of found some ways to win in the last few games. But Jerry just does a phenomenal job. Have so much respect for what he's done and accomplished. I've always looked up to him. So, But we would love mo nothing more than to go and beat them on their home field. But the big thing is it's more worrying about what you guys are capable of. And we've mm -hmm. seen what you guys are capable of. I know you've talked about that keeping shutouts. Obviously tonight, not the shutout, but to score four goals on a team that hadn't given up a goal in the NCAA tournament, that's impressive. Yeah, this this team um, is led with, with some fantastic seniors and some great experience. And obviously Cam and Kayla have done a phenomenal job for us scoring. And and I'm just putting so much pressure on our opponent's defense. And, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a fun group. You know, they work hard. They play hard. Uh, they celebrate hard. Um, and I really think our best soccer is still ahead of us. We had, we played our best defensive game against Virginia. We played a really solid game on both ends uh, tonight. Um, and I think our best, like I said, our best is, is still ahead of us, and it will have to be to play in these big games. Definitely big opportunities coming up. And I have to ask about the one final question. Coolahan, yeah. she want to come back on for that hat trick. Uh -huh, she didn't. I told her she wanted. I mean, I took her out early in the second half because I thought she was injured. Didn't obviously want to, um, you know, risk her. But you know, she wanted a few minutes out there for her senior year, and so you give a kid like that that opportunity. She wasn't supposed to engage with any contact, and she didn't follow my orders. And then she took me out after the game because I couldn't hold her because I thought I was stronger. But I'm just getting old. I can't even. I can't even celebrate uh, very good anymore. But yeah, Kayla's just led this team. Um, I'm so happy for her. She came back for this very reason to get BYU to the to the College Cup and to you know hopefully have an opportunity to win a national championship. Coach, well, congratulations, College Cup bound. That's Coach Jennifer Rockwood. Congratulations on that Final Four appearance and best of luck moving forward. Hopefully, two two more games to come for you guys. That's awesome, that would be fantastic. Appreciate so it, much. Coach. That's the Cougars 4-1 victors here at Southfield, and the Cougars do everything they need to do to get the victory and what a game from the Cougars Cougars scored like I mentioned more with two and Coulihan with two as you've been listening to the new skin BYU Sports Network and we'll sign off and catch you next Friday back here on the BYU Sports or new skin BYU Sports Network You've been listening to live coverage of BYU Women's Soccer on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Coverage of today's match has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of BYU Athletics. Also brought to you by Smith's Food and Drug. Smith's now has grocery pickup and online delivery to save you time. Also by Wilner and O'Reilly. Immigration solutions in Utah and abroad at wilneroreilly.com. And by Zions Bank. For banking that helps you tackle everything Every financial challenge, Zions Bank is for you. BYU Women's Soccer is a production of BYU Athletics in association with BYU Broadcasting. Special thanks to BYU President Kevin Worthen, Vice President Keith Vorkink, Athletic Director Tom Homo, and Associate Athletic Director for Corporate Sponsorship, Casey Stoffer. BYU Women's Soccer is an exclusive presentation of the new skin, BYU Sports Network.